So here's my power cable after I modified it. I started by cutting off the red and black wires. I put a butt splice on them so it would protect the ends and make it easy in the future to rejoin it. This is the end that goes into the hat. You see the red and black there, and they're inserted. They'll be on the bottom right side. Fuse holder. And a ring terminal for the ground or negative. So here's the final installation. I picked this spot because it's very clean right in that area and I believe that the Raspberry Pi will be in the best possible environment. If I decide that I don't like that the cable is plenty long and I could reach over to this spot over here on the back which also seems to stay quite clean. I uh, put some de-electric grease on the Ethernet cables, so that should uh, help deal with any slight amount of moisture. You can see that's the main intake screen, so there may be a lot of air movement through there, and uh, it's possible it could draw some small amounts of moisture with it. But, like I say, I've got that cable protected both uh, when I installed the jack and when I plugged the cable in, I applied the electric grease. There are the Covers reinstalled. Everything's ready to go back together. Go inside and check the operation. So here's the uh, result. This is the monitor. provides different information. There's been no outage since the program was launched. These are all the logs that are in the generator already. You'll see the low battery alarm code. I had to replace the battery. And Here's settings. And about. So that's the, uh, the whole thing. If it were running, it would show you the voltage, the frequency, the RPM, the output.
and it looks like it's working great. Uh, I went in and set up the email and it's sending me emails. So everything's great. I hope this is of uh, some interest and possibly some assistance to somebody who wants to monitor their generator independently.